The state is asking the Supreme Court to put a recent federal court ruling on hold. The outcome could change voting in March. Federal court judges ordered North Carolina to redraw two congressional district lines by next Friday. The state says it needs more time. WNCT's Zora Stevenson is here to explain how this impacts you, Zora. Yeah, the districts in question are District 1 and District 12. And District 1 includes a lot of eastern North Carolina. If the Supreme Court issues a stay, everything could change. District 1 covers areas all the way from Elizabeth City to Durham. Three federal judges say both districts are unconstitutional because too many minorities are packed into one voting area. The state went to the Supreme Court in hopes it won't have to redraw the lines by the 19th. The problem is if the Supreme Court denies the request, thousands of voters and candidates could live in different districts than they do now. You might be in District 1 or District 12 when the changes are made. Or you might, your, your district, which would not be in 1 or 12, might become relatively more Republican or relatively more Democratic, depending on who gets transferred from one district to the other. If the lines are redrawn next week, the congressional primary will be moved from its current date. This means any absentee and early votes will be voided. A representative with the State Board of Elections says a survey shows most areas don't have the money for a separate election. I spoke with District 1 Representative G.K. Butterfield. He says the primary could be held during the runoff elections in May to avoid any extra cost. Butterfield says the Supreme Court is set to make its decision later this week. Zora Stevenson, 9 on your side.